Hi, my name is Dr. Robert Doble. I'm a associate professor of medicine at the University of Colorado. I'm a medical oncologist who sees and treats lung cancer patients, and I also run a translational research laboratory that's very interested in bringing personalized medicine to as many lung cancer patients as possible. The reason that I'm so passionate about this is that I've been fortunate enough uh, to see the evolution of this disease over the last decade, uh, where we typically in the past gave standard chemotherapy to all patients without any good sense of whether it was going to work well or not. It's still a very effective therapy, but we don't have good markers to predict who it will work for and who it won't. Over the last decade, we've seen that certain genetic uh, mistakes in cancer cells can help us predict for therapies that will work quite well in, in lung cancer patients. For example, we see that patients who have mutations in the epidermal growth factor receptor gene, or EGFR, can be treated much better with a single pill a day called Tarceva or Elotinib um, than with standard chemotherapy. Not only does this type of therapy lead to better tumor shrinkage um, and longer time on therapy before there's a need to switch, but it usually does so with less side effects. The current project that we're trying to fund today is a project around a new gene that we've identified in our laboratory. This new gene is called NTRAC1 or TRAC-A. And similar to patients who have other gene mutations, the cancer cell is heavily dependent on this gene. Uh, and when it's treated with an inhibitor specific for that gene, we, can, we think we can kill these cancer cells. And the research funding that we're asking for is really to prove this uh, in the laboratory so that we can begin <coughs> clinical trials. The other reason I'm so passionate about this project is that we identified this gene first in a patient of mine. She was a young, never smoker, um, like many uh, people we know with a family, um, but despite all of our efforts to test her for genes that might predict for benefit, um, she found none. So we sought to look uh, more widely across her cancer cells um, using next generation sequencing. And we were able to identify this new gene that might predispose uh, her cancer cells uh, to this new type of targeted therapy or personalized medicine. Um, unfortunately, she was never able to benefit um, from the research that we're doing now, but we hope that the discovery in her cancer cells will hopefully help many, many patients down the road with lung cancer or with other types of cancer, because what we're learning nowadays is that genetic mistakes in one cancer cell are often found in many different cancer types. Um, for example, the same genetic mistake or mutation in lung cancer may be found in colon cancer or biliary cancer or other types of cancer. And so we hope that the more we learn about these genetic mistakes, the better we'll be able to treat uh, not only particular patients with lung cancer, but other cancer types as well. So I thank you very much uh, for your support.